JDZ here with eFrag.net at live at ESWC Montreal 2015. Uh, we're here with Luminosity Gaming's newest signing, Jonathan Devilwalk Lundberg. So, uh, Jonathan, how's uh, your introduction to Luminosity been so far? We know you played three matches with them in total, and you just joined a few days ago. Uh, first question is, how did it all happen so fast? So you, you've just been with uh, 1337, a Swedish mix, and a few days later we, we see that you've signed with Luminosity. So tell us how it happened. I mean, it's pretty random. Uh, ESL made a mistake and roomed me and Lex together. So uh, we got the chance to like spend some time and actually get to know each other. And we had a really good time together. We never talked during that event about any, anything the sort of me joining or going to Canada or anything. We just had a great time together. And uh, after the event, we basically, you know, when they got home, we talked about it, and the owner, uh, you know, looked me up, and we had a talk, and you know, eventually we, we got to the rea realization that you know we want to make this happen, and uh, so we did. And basically, six hours later, I was on a flight to Canada. What do you think your impact is going to be uh, within the Luminosity team as far as your in-game role goes and uh, as far as your, your uh, strategical effect on the, on the team? And you Obviously they brought you in to influence their tactical play a little more and bring a little more depth to their play. So how do you think you're going to impact the team? I think uh, mostly we'll start off very mentally based, like change the mentality. Uh, we talk you through what our goals are, uh, we talk through what we want to change, we're going to change our comps, we're going to improve everything, and it's basically like, pretty good, pretty good but uh, I feel like there's more like reaction, what the reaction is when that calm happens. So we're going to walk through basically every reaction that possibly can happen, so everyone knows what everyone's doing at every single time. And obviously the talking about strategies, we're gonna find our play style. I don't think we're utilizing the players we have at the best possible way. Uh, so I'm gonna change a lot of setups and literally just take control and like make sure everyone's utilized the, the perfect way. Uh, and we're, we didn't change anything for this event. I basically just jumped into lap rolls, which is not really my usual role. Uh, so it was kind of difficult for me. Uh, as well, and I'm not in the, 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 the best form in my life, but uh, you know, I still think we, we, we did some good plays, and I think we, we had a lot of pos positives to bring out from this event. And uh, I feel like we, we already improved on the common thing, we had a lot of talks. Everyone has the good mentality where you can bring up stuff, uh, and we've changed stuff like you cannot win in games, stuff like that. Just, uh, so, you've, uh, will you be eventually fully taking over the in-game leader position uh, from PTR, or will you be influencing uh, the team mostly in practice scenarios? Uh, what's what's your plan around the in-game leading role? Well, the first thing we talked about is like we don't want Peter to be in-game leader. Uh, not because he's not doing a great job, he actually is doing a fantastic job at that. But we want him to be the, the big diva, you know, in the team. We want him to only focus on his offing. He needs to be that heavy hitter and impact player for us. And uh, that I really, really believe he, he can be. Uh, he can be the best offing in North America. So, we want him to focus more on that and get that into, to, into things and it's basically we're going to start off with, with me kind of practicing a lot with them but not calling in the beginning so Lex is going to do the calling first, firstly uh, and then I'm kind of going to see where I kind of fit into the team and uh, make sure that uh, everything's done right and then eventually hopefully uh, or hopefully I mean Lex does a good job and stay as a caller otherwise I'll jump in and call him. Great, so it seems like you guys have a, a pretty good plan laid out for the next period of uh, yeah. your evolution as a team. So you have, uh, which LAN events do you have coming, you guys attending Sivo LAN? I actually don't know, I have I'm just <laughs> basically joined the team, I know we have Sivo, 
we have the offline qualifier, yep. and uh, the rest I don't know. Um, we'll probably have something else as well, but uh, you know, I take one event at a time and uh, evaluate how we did this event and uh, talk things through. And, yeah, that's that's how I roll. Great, awesome. So.